Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Pacific Drive. Last time we uh, mapped out a little bit more of our freeway. We went to Junction C3 with the hopes that maybe we would get to our, uh, we would get a route to our next objective here. That didn't quite happen to be the case. So we have to go either to C4 or C5 to, to get there. Unfortunately, these are both uh, both encompassed in uh, some sort of uh, uh, active storm at the moment, which is why between the this episode and the last, I did go ahead and get the upgrade for the uh, thing. It's called the junction restabilizer, and it's this fancy thing right here. Um, let's just go over real quick what else we got here. I did get the rapid refuel as well because I thought, why not? It took quite a while to uh, to 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 refuel the car with our current capacity at least uh, other than that i got the fiberglass or the carbon fiberglass we can now craft that i don't think we got anything here no we did get a crude flashlight and both the bio and the bio lantern so you can see the i have gone ahead and destroyed the old one but this one really lights up the place it really lights up compared to the to the old one. So hopefully it's going to be much, much easier to see something when we are in those dark areas. Uh, I don't think I got anything here. We did get the all-terrain tires as well, which I have gone ahead and installed. And honestly, I think that is probably it. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's going to be it. So... I don't know why it uh, didn't struck me until, uh, or strike me until just now, because... I needed some rubber for these uh, for these guys. They uh, they required 14 each. I could craft one. That's all I could craft, even with destroying the old one. But in destroying the old one, I got a lot of rubber, which I was like, well, of course you do, dummy, because the, on tires there's a lot of rubber. So I went ahead and actually destroyed all the tires and this uh, beautiful Ada investigator out here, and uh, I got just barely enough to get all three. And even with a little bit of bonus from destroying the old tires. So we actually have a surplus. And for some reason, it just never occurred to me that, of course, if I want to get rubber, I should be destroying the tires. So with that in mind, actually, we will probably be a little bit more on the lookout for uh, for rubber. Because we need quite a bit of it for a lot of these... Um, these upgrades here, we can see all these three require rubber, and th these two require rubber as well. Uh, they these do not. Let's go ahead and grab us some carbon fiber glass. We need seven. Uh, we can still afford it. Okay, we don't have the red balloons. That balloons. That's just fine. We're going to be using all the fabric as well. On this thing, that's okay. Yeah, rubber here as well. Rubber here as well. Yeah, so we need rubber. If we had could get this one now, no mind. We could. We still need it there as well. Yeah. So let's go ahead and craft some carbon fiberglass. Seven of those thingy majikis. They are hopefully down here at the bottom, right? Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and they require fabric, so we are not going to be able to get both. So there's actually no reason to craft seven of them, but we did nonetheless. Let, uh, nonetheless, let's get our stiff shirt. Now we don't have enough fabric. That's okay. Uh, let's go ahead and get this one as well. So we get some acid resistance and we get some piercing resistance because why not? Why not? Okay. So. Fabric is in kind of high demand at the moment and rubber, but at least now we have some sort of idea of how to get rubber. Okay, let's see here. How do we use this thing? Do we have to scan it first? Let's do this one. So how do we how do we redistribute it or redo it? I should say legends. Uh, ah, reroll. Okay. Yeah, we yes, we need to scan it first. Well, well, there we go. 
Okay. That's uh, that that seems okay. There's no storm at least, so there's plenty of time, so we can actually we can can actually take out sweet time in that one. Um so I think what we want to do probably is since we have some time today, we're probably gonna go through E seven and then G nine. Look we're just gonna go for a, a, a chill expansion today, it looks like then. And then next time we'll be going for the um for this one and we might jump through G1 at that point or maybe we can even go go through one of these I don't know actually it doesn't look like it though but I don't know it, do it doesn't look like it but we'll, uh, we'll we'll see for now though let's uh, let's get this show on the road there's nothing in any of these that we don't know we might not know the conditions in in G9 here and in C5 but other than that we know whatever we have we know all the wrecks and all the loots and all the anomalies that we'll be facing. We have Abductor, we have Left Right, we have Honeypots, Spark Tower, Sizzling, sizzling Mist and Shaker. I think the Shaker is the one that explodes from the ground. Otherwise, we don't have anything too bad. Ooh, we have Bold Bunnies here, which I don't like. And we have Wrecking Wreck, which I don't like as well. That's okay. We can reroll these as well, by the way, because we have technically scanned them from from this one. So we can reroll these as well, but I don't, I don't want to because if we reroll this one, it might end up with a with with the with a storm. So oh, we have the belching barnacle there. I really hate the belching barnacle. Otherwise, I don't think it looks to be too too bad. Okay. Well, I think. We are good to go. Let's uh, close the shop, because why not? And let's get this uh, this show on the road for today. I felt that my controller was uh, was vibrating there, and there's really no reason to for that to be hooked in. Let's uh, let's uh, let's uh, go. Let's uh, go. Let's see what we can find. Uh, there was a comment about the wind turbines, and they 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 their understanding was that they don't really work unless there's some wind. I'm um, I'm not sure either way. I have a uh, my my experience is that even when I drive. If I drive fast enough, they, they, they still generate some electricity, although not very much, but enough to um, to keep like the lights on, for instance. I see that they're going a little bit. We should be able to... F Actually, they're not going at all. It's probably the from when we were driving. But what happens if we drive? I mean, they, 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 they are working when we are driving. I'm, I'm fairly confident we do get electricity from that, but uh, I might be wrong. I might be wrong. Okay, let's see. We have a single anchor, and we are definitely going to be hitting the dirt roads for this one. But we have stability in this one, so we don't have to rush anything. That being said, though, uh, we are not going to explore everything, that's for sure. But I think we will... We'll go explore this, and then we'll go through this, grab the anchor. We, we will probably stop by this as well, because there's so much, so many houses there. And then we'll drive down, I think. And we are, of course, on the lookout for big trucks now, with uh, big tires. So we can get all that rubber. And I believe it was in the next one that we had the Riddling Wreck. Yeah, it's not this one. Yeah, look at all that beautiful light. It's not really needed here, but... It is a very, very nice upgrade. Ooh, hello there. Well, I gotta say, if I had been there, I would have grabbed that... Uh, that Game Boy up straight away. Uh, is that really it? That seems to be it. It kind of looks like it, right? From back in the back in the days, 
I think I still have mine actually. You know, there there are certain things that uh, you just uh, you just don't get rid of. Um, let's see. We sh we we should be able to take it like a short, short shortcut right here, right? Whip. Pretty elegant, if I do say so myself. Let's uh, scan, see if we can see something worth uh, worth going for. There is a tr ah, it's a fuel truck. A uh, fuel truck off-road is not interesting. Oops. <laughs> Had it been an, uh, a box truck or an other investigator, I probably would have gone for it. There can be a lot of loot in those. And it's, uh, I think it's generally, you know, kind of big, um, what's it called, big tires. Either off-road or all-terrain or something like that. On the trucks, so definitely worth it, I think. For now, we'll just continue up to the next... Oh, I see it right there, it is a silo. I feel like we're going a little bit faster, but I don't know if it's because we have a better grip on the road. Because of our new new tires. Could be. Could be, I suppose. Yeah, fabric. That is definitely something that we want. Definitely something that we want. Uh, right there. So what's our battery charge at? It's at 85. I mean, we used our our scanner, so we definitely do get electricity while uh, while just going. Actually, are there any tires on this, uh, this truck right here? There are. Okay. Well, in that case. What is it? It is summer tires. How much will we get for that? Is it worth it? Oh, it, 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 it actually is. That's quite a bit, a uh, fair bit of rubber. Okay, what's on the other side here? Uh, pretty much nothing. That's uh, completely destroyed. How much will we get from that? Just curious here. Oh, okay. Do we have any on Yes, we have three on us right now. I didn't know we could grab stuff like that with the with the thermal. Yeah, you know, we've got 15 there. That's that's not a bad haul. Wow. That's a shame that uh, we I didn't learn that until now. I don't know why. Just uh, just now occurred to me that uh, of course we can get rubber from tires. Well, better late than never, I suppose. Better late than never. I like having more freedom with the with the fossil fuel engine to do to to scan, for instance. I felt like with the um, with the electric engine, at least with the setup we had, or my knowledge about how to how to use such a vehicle, we had to constantly think about how we used our. Uh, our energy and you know it's it's I enjoyed the engine but I didn't enjoy that aspect of it it felt very what should we call micro manage which was not not fun not fun and that's a one of those electric towers over there as well. Out of light. I'm sure they did. Toolbox. Great. Oh, we're actually taking some damage there. Looks like we were right at the edge of it, though. Uh, that's it. Ah, just a trash can. Just go grab this as well. No reason to drive such a short, uh, short walk. 
It's kind of dangerous over here as well, so we wouldn't be able to drive long anyway. Uh, we can probably get this one. Yes. And then it'll fire. Yeah. Grab the copper wire as well. Yoink. Uh, okay. Okay, where's the car? It's this right there. Click it. Is it getting dark or is it just getting uh, more more foggy? I think it's getting dark. Okay. Um we have can go a little bit off-road here. Should have something over here. Yeah, that's the railway we need to cross. And then we have a couple of houses in here. A cluster of things to loot. There should be three. There's an anchor over there. Okay, the other one should be over there somewhere. So we will be here for a, for a spell. So let us turn off the car in that case. Loot the fridge. Oh, we don't really need food, but I mean, we might as well eat that since we lost some health. So I'm hoping that we will we'll get access to the to the mission area. But oh well, we will. But I, what I was was gonna say, I was ho uh, I wanted to say was I hope that we'll get access through the freeway but other otherwise I think it'll be a three junction jump next time as well which will be fine but since we are focusing on the mission it, it it's always nice to get that quick you know and I believe the next one that uh, that we are going to it's, it's actually quite a long one so we definitely want a full episode for for, for that we definitely want a full episode for that. Um, that's that, I think. Yes. Uh, well, I guess we might as well grab the anchor. It's actually not that far away. Let's do that. Oink. Oh, by the way, also, uh, I read something somewhere. I can't remember, actually, if it was also a comment um, that that alerted me to it. Uh, if it is, then I apologize. I already, already forgot. Uh, let's try and get out of here before he catches us. But it was uh, it's something to do with the panels on the car that uh, the... Um, any given panel lends its powers to whatever it borders which is actually pretty nice. I think we can see actually here, if we hover over this one, for instance, armored panel, we can see that this one, which I'm guessing is the front left panel, it also borders, it really borders the front right, really? No, it doesn't. It can't, right? There was just something. Someone said that you could see it in game, like the, the the stats it had. But maybe it's it's. Are you jumping? Maybe it's 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 back in the base. But there could be some arguments made for having different panels, like alternating kind of thing, to 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 give different bonuses. Or maybe not having something that's completely focused on on one thing, you know? Because I thought you just, uh, I thought each stat on a panel was just for the panel, but apparently it shares it with it. So we should be fairly impact resistance here. Let's say front bumper, rear bumper. I don't know if it shares just with that. I have no idea. Actually, if you know. You're welcome to share it in the comments, to be honest. More than welcome. Oh, we have a storm coming in. 
I think if we loot this one, whatever we have up here fairly quickly, and there's a tourist. That's the first one you see, we see, I think. Is this open? It is. Let's park it there. Because I can see that uh, the house up there as well that we want to loot. Yeah, Don't really care about the pry bar there. I think if we're quick, we c oh, we can actually see it up there, the storm. But if we're quick, maybe we can avoid it. But I don't think we can since we're going in here. Oh, nice and open. Yoink, why not? Okay, that kind of seems to be it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's probably it for this area as well, to be honest. We might... Uh, actually, maybe we're right on the edge of it anyway, for this storm. No, I see the li little wind things. And uh, we can see it's like... Yep, we're in it. And the car is starting to go away. Yeah, we're definitely in it. You know what? We could uh, we could just chill. Uh, you can open the door. Or close the door, I should say. Let's have a look at that. There's another fuel truck down there. That's a shame. Well, I guess we could have... You could use a fuel truck, but... We are not that low, so we should be okay. They're probably a little bit fast here in going. We, we might, yeah, we're gonna hit it again. The, the the storm probably. Well, we are in it actually. So. No. Uh, we are actually not supposed to go this way. We are supposed to go down this way. Need to follow this dirt road instead. And look how fast we are re well, we are recharging our battery now because of the uh, the storm. Oh, see that is a truck down there that we sh definitely should be uh, investigating. Okay, let's park it. Okay. Storm is over, so we should be okay. Yoink. Right, and it's right there. Beautiful. Are we passing the br are we crossing the bridge? No, we are not. We are not crossing the bridge. Yoink. That is probably a crude. Yep. Uh, we can eat one of those. Actually, just some more tires. Okay. Guess that can that can vary as well. I thought it would be some bigger tires, but they're just some more tires. I don't know why I thought that. I mean, they... Hello. Random scrapper? We don't really need it, so... Inventory full? I guess it is. For what, though? Oh, a gear. Yoink. Luckily, we have... Tons of space. Look at that. Tons of space. Uh, we, I think we grabbed everything we wanted here. Is that green? Is that an abductor? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. 
Just an abductor. Just a chill little bro. We'll leave him alone and he'll leave us alone. Uh, is that the thing? Yeah, that's the thing we wanted to loot. what that car is. We might check that out on the way. Any lights? Nope. Well, good thing we now have a flashlight. Crude one, but a flashlight nonetheless. Ooh, duct tape to 9 volt batteries. Do we have any duct tape on us? We do. We have two, but I think you require more. I also feel like this this light is, is is not like it's not so annoying for the eyes. Maybe I'm wrong. Yoink 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 yoink. Get the electronics from these as well. Okay. Well, the mist is back. So there was a car up here that I wanted to take a quick glance at. Well, is it right there? Yeah, it's right there. It is. It is a squire. Okay. That means it is armored. Nope, not that one. This one. Right there, there's one. Is there another one? Mm, no. Honestly, probably should craft myself a liberator that we can have in the. Yeah, it requires uh, it requires a tier two as well. Should have a liberator here because I would love to have like a full auto truck just for fun. But, you know, we're not going to have one of those if we don't bring ourselves a Liberator. Okay, I'm wondering if we could get that from the trucks that spawned back at... Uh, back at base as well. Uh, well, that's actually only doors. I, I, I just I just realized it's only doors. It's not panels. Hmm. I wonder if you can even get a an Arda panel anywhere. Okay, well, we are going into a little bit rougher territory, I should think, right now. There is a gas station, though, so that's something hopefully we can we can hit up. Not that we are going to need it, but it would be nice. We got a uh, pretty decent time. And there is some, uh, some, some, some uh, anchor juice to be had, but we do have to deal with bolt bunnies and with wriggling wrecks. Uh, let's take a look at the map. Let's take a look at the map. We spent a long time in that area. Uh, okay. Wow, th this is far away. We're not going to go for that. Okay, so the... Yeah, this one. Overcharge electricity. Due to increased ambient limb field energy, all electrical damage taken in this part of the zone is increased. Of course, that's why there are... What's it called? Electrical tourists. Where's the where's the gas station now? It's not this. This? It's probably up here, isn't it? No, that's a charging station. And s uh, there we go. Uh, charged up. Said there was a gas station. Apparently, it was lying. Well, let's uh, let's get going. This is probably going to be a pretty quick one, because I would like to spend some time in the next area as well. Uh, let's not drive into. 
either of those. No, no. No, that's not a wriggling rag, but... Didn't want to take any chances. Whoop. How much... We have 2.0, so we have to, we have enough juice to get out in the next area. We have enough juice to get out in the next area. Yeah, you know what? I think I would like to spend the time in the next area. Because otherwise we're going to go way over time here. I'd like to finish this run in this episode. So I think here we are honestly just going to grab the the one anchor juice that is next to the road. And then we are just going to continue to the next area because I think the next area is also going to be a little bit tricky. Uh oh, I see you. And oh, it was—it's behind us actually. It's right there. Okay. okay. And honestly, since there are tourists, let's follow the advice of one of the commons to grab this while facing the car. Because then any random tourists, not tourists, tourists is not going to suddenly spawn behind me. Okay, 2.4, that didn't make much of a difference, but we got it nonetheless. Ooh, that's a wriggling rig. I was lucky. Lucky that it, there was an opening there for us. Those freaking wrecks, they are some nasty traps. Especially if you're driving like a little bit fast like we were. They can really just, they, they spawn out of nowhere. Well, they don't spawn, they pop up out of nowhere. Feels like it anyway. Okay. On to the mid zone. Junction C5, back roads, the Myers. Well, let's see what we have here. We don't have a lot of um, unstable energy, so I don't think we're going to be able to like immense amounts of upgrades when we, when we come back home, but a little bit here, a little bit there, it all helps. Okay. We are down south. Let's get this show on the road then. There is a tip to be collected, so we'll go for that first. Uh, before we do that, the logbook. Yes, we have corrosive waterways. The groundwater in this part of the zone is almost pure acid. Rivers and lakes will inflict su substantial corrosive damage. I think we also had angry abductors here. We can see them. There's a map, right? Yeah. No, anomalous clouds. Well, it was something with, with A. Uh, we're in the wrong one. Uh, anomalous clouds. Oh, there it is. Unpredictable weather patterns in this part of the zone mean more cloud-related hazards will manifest at ground level. Okay. Well, I do realize we have read some of these before, but I forget. So honestly, I'm reading these as much for me as I am for you. 
Well, they're the tourists. Let's do a scan. Do we have anything interesting? You are an anomaly. You are not interesting. Yeah, you... Uh, fiddle with everything. Uh, nothing super interesting on the scan. Fuel truck up there. That is not interesting. Ah, uh, that's a belting barnacle. Let's go. Let's get out of Dodge. We don't want to be near it. Well, unfortunately, actually, also, even if we did find something here in, in the... A lot of the a lot of the materials here in the water, which in this case is corrosive, so that's actually not super interesting. Oh my god, that's something we definitely do not want to park right next to. Okay, well, I was seconds from parking the car, so we could kind of get out okay I see the thing you know what in this case we might just drive right there why not oh whatever that was huh sounded like a sambi Okay, we're gonna loot that tower as well. Might as well. Oh, hello. Those are big, uh, big tires. Maybe that's what I remember because this one is maybe in the mid zone. They they require better better tires before you all run away. Yoink! Summer tire. Yeah, we can't really. Hmm. We don't really have space for it. I guess we kind of do. You didn't have a door? Or did, am I just blind? I'm just blind. That's a steel door. Okay. Kind of disappointed. Okay, fine. Let's, uh, let's hold this. We'll put it in the car. Probably should have grabbed this so we could listen to it while doing that. That's that was actually my plan with looting this tower. Uh, over you go, over you go. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, grab this. Go loot the tower while we listen to this. Welcome back. This is Frequency File, Episode 2. In the last episode, I told you about the curious case of Dr. Ophelia Turner. When it comes to this enigmatic individual, one of three versions is true. Myth, martyr, or monster. To be able to weigh her in turns as heretic, genius, or scapegoat, we must first set the stage. When I started down this path to discover who she was, what she did, and ultimately what happened to her, I didn't expect it to lead me to one of the strangest mysteries of the Pacific Northwest, the Olympic Exclusion Zone. But let me rewind a bit. In Northwest Washington State, there are 3,600 square miles of vibrant wilderness called the Olympic Peninsula. Bounded by water on three sides, it was a wonderland for outdoorsy types, with snow-capped mountains and salmon-bearing rivers and pristine rainforests. Up until 1955, it was the residence of 100,000 people, including Ophelia Turner. It was her birthplace, her hometown, and, it turns out, Ground Zero and Sacrificial Lamb for the promise of Lim technology. In true fashion, the government never comes out and says that's what led to the creation of the Olympic Exclusion Zone. But the chain of events were in plain sight. Strange accidents leading to the government's claim of eminent domain and subsequent seizure of the peninsula. The evacuation of 100,000 people and the attempt and abject failure at containing the rumors that spread like wildfire. Because it turns out, even with the government's resources at your disposal, keeping secrets is a tricky business. I can bet there was plenty of talk as a result. Lucky me, 
because I had plenty of questions. Because of that thing over there, let's turn off the car while we loot this uh, this investigator here. Yoink. Crude door. Crude. Uh, do we want that? Yes, we'll take it. We can always throw it in the matrix deconstructor back at base. Get some music going. Uh, let's go next. Oh, it's right there. Hello, tourists. Don't mind me. Barnacle. Jesus, these guys are all over the place. Okay, the last anchor here. And the good anchor as well, looks like. That should that should be a lot of juice in that one. Nightshades. Ooh. Well, gas station doesn't really matter anymore. Suppose we can loot it. Oh, we have a storm incoming. Yikes. Yeah, two point eight. Oh, my God. Please. Corrosive squall. Yikes. Okay, let's uh, activate and go. See if we can't get out of this rain. Thank God. Yikes. That was not fun to be in. Wow, it's... Okay, I guess it disappeared because we activated the gate. Okay. Well, we didn't explore too, too much, but we got the unstable energy here. That's, that's what matters. And we got out of here more or less unscathed. I hope I didn't just jinx it, but, you know... We didn't take too much damage. Our car is almost in pristine condition, so that was uh, that was a nice chill one. I think we got got a good amount of rubber there. I think we should be definitely be able to uh, to buy some upgrades in the uh, in the outfaring station. Let's turn that off. How the zone treat you this time? And you know, we didn't even use half a gas of tank. You know, that's what—that's kind of what I mean with the with the electric vehicle. I don't have to worry about the the f fuel at all because we have so much, and we kind of had the same setup with the with the batteries. But to be fair, to be fair, these fuel tanks we are using are upgraded compared to the 
the batteries so we can uh, we can see here that the fuel tanks we have the expanded one that holds a capacity of 50 liters the backseat tank held 25 and i think it's the same with the batteries they hold 30 and the high capacity is 50 so not quite double but you know close enough and so the, the, the fair comparison would be if we had used these but i don't think they would have made such a massive difference uh, that 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 we wouldn't have to worry about anything. Um, okay, let's before we 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 quit here. Let's just take a quick look to see if it indeed did upgrade our path. Yes, it did. We only have the one one way how to get there, and that is through C five. That's lo it looks like next time we will we might take kind of the same route, or we will probably go G one so we can get there, and then the episode after that we will be exploring Junction A nine here. Um, I will fix up the car as per usual. I'll see if there's anything to research and um, Yeah, next time we'll uh, we'll do some a little bit more mapping or at least we'll, we'll not be ma me mapping We'll we'll be fo focusing on the getting to the mission area for now though. Thank you for watching and until next time. Take care <laughs>